We're on Michael Mark TV. We're here at the Amherst Train Show in West Springfield, Massachusetts. There's 20,000 people at this show in the two days here, and um, Michael Mark is the first time they've done a uh, done this show, and quite a quite a turnout. We've got Wayne and Donald here. How's it going, guys? Tell me, uh, what are people talk talking about here at the show at Michael Mark? All right, we have some great stuff here today. Um, several items that are popular in our catalogs and online at www.michaelmark.com. Um, some of our best stuff uh, is over here. We have our truck spreading pliers, very popular item. HO truck tuners. We got little things like cab holsters. We have uh, clearance gauges for N, HO, O scale. Um, we have everything that you need, um, if not here in the catalog or online, for your hobby needs, whether you're a uh, railroad enthusiast or, or boats or military, we have everything you need. Interesting. Over here so we have our line of scientific kits. It's a division that's uh, been reinstated. Um, we do HO and O scale structures. Um, we have a. Tell me about this roundhouse. All right, yeah, this is a Keddie roundhouse. Um, Western Pacific Railway in California. Um, this is our first large scientific model that we are uh, releasing. It comes out in a few weeks. It will be a limited run of 250. Um, it, uh, it's very easy to assemble. Don't be intimidated by its, uh, by its size. Um, everything's laser cut and uh, designed from the blueprints to uh, simulate accuracy as best as we could at a small scale. Very nice. Tell me about this this contest we're running oh, here. We're excited about this. This is the Bush 4141. Uh, he was a great man, a great statesman, and uh, he recently passed, and this was his procession train, and uh, it has recently um, been popping up all over the internet as a popular uh, HO uh, train that's been sought out. We have Our competition is that if you can paint and decal the ACE, to look like the procession engine, you win a $2,000 gift certificate for Micromark wow. and an exclusive cover on a future catalog. Very so, interesting. So uh, register at www.micromark.com. It's uh, $2,000 goes a long way in our catalog. So what scale is it? It can be done in any scale. Okay. Um, do you have to buy this this kit to do that? or You do not have to buy the kit, but it, I recommend that you at least buy the decals because um, they're very exclusive. They would be very hard to replicate on your own. So for what we have, um, we also have a paint set that goes with it that could definitely ease your pain as far as looking for the right colors. Interesting. But you don't necessarily have to buy it from us. Can you send us photographs of it? And then we'll pick the top five. We'll have them shipped in, and uh, a very strict uh, judging session will determine the winner and the two thousand dollar recipient. Very cool, excellent. I'm going to come around over here and tell me about some of these tools over here, these these machines. So you got a laser cutter here? Yeah, this is the it is laser by They uh, this is a nice machine, large cutting area. It's air cooled. Very nice. Tell me about this uh, this little device. Oh, I love the Wonder Cutter. I did not know I needed this until I actually started using it. But this is a small blade, and it vibrates at 40,000 vibrations a second. What, is, what through, does it cut? I cut through several different materials. I cut through wood, plastic, resin, vinyl, um, leather, and uh, it's, it's fantastic. It goes through it like a hot knife through butter. And uh, it reduces my building time on uh, kits, structure kits, building models significantly. Interesting. So you can go online to see that? Absolutely. Tell me about this thing that's sitting in on. Uh, this is our vacuum form machine. This is interesting. What I find great about this, it's a lot larger than any of the other consumer vacuum form machines. Okay. What we do is we put a layer of plastic, there's different materials that you can use that come with the machine. You lock it down, bring it up, and there's a, a female um, in the back that you plug a hose into, yep. and uh, and you can plug your vacuum right into the unit itself. 
you put your item down here, let's say I wanted to make a mold of this. Gotcha. I would turn it on, as soon as I uh, saw a sag come down in the warmth of the, the plastic, I drop it on, but as soon as I drop it, it ignites the, the vacuum, and then it starts sucking through the screen, and it molds the plastic around what's down there. So you can oh, that's cool. Yeah. As, uh, you doing some plaster molds, some resin molds, you'd be able to make a master and be able to reuse and make uh, things over and over again. You could use it for packaging items if you had a tool gotcha. that you could put in there. You could just lay the plastic over and then use a cardboard stock on the back and you could hang it right on a peg. Nice, nice. All right. Tell me about these little devices here. Oh, these things are great. You know, they're little. Much like me, I'm little but very powerful. <laughs> All right. These are uh, a lot of Microlux tools. We have about a dozen of them with different um, applications. Now you need the transformer to run these tools. Okay. A lot of people might think that that might be a, like, why can't I just plug it into a wall? But the, it allows the variable speed because these things have a lot of power. You know, by plugging it into the wall, you, you lose efficiency. So by having the, the transformer that runs all of these tools, you're able to go very, very slow if you need to run a screw very I see. slow yeah. or if you need to run fast. So uh, this is power. this is a router. Yeah, this is a plunge router. And then you got this is like an sand angle sander. Yeah. We got a uh, high high power torque gotcha. uh, driver. We have uh, we have one Buffer. of these. We have a belt sander. I think this one's the the plane. Yep, that's a planer. All right, and then we have the grinder down there. I see. I see. Very nice. All right. And these are available at michaelmark.com. I'm going to have you do two more. Let's do this this saw. Why do you have this saw here? Okay, this is a great saw. Um, a lot of people that work on smaller uh, wood cuts, you know, with a uh, quarter inch, 